All right. Um, very interesting turn of events. This is Breaking Bad Season 5, Episode 8, titled Gliding All Over. Now, oh, man. You know, with each episode I watch in this season, with it being the, the last season, you know, you, you keep getting reminders that the ride's coming to an end. I think I've talked about this in the last couple uploads that were related towards this um, this series. I mean, it's, for me, it's been close to a year of... I feel like it's yeah, it's been like close to a year of watching this series and and then uh uploading a video about it. But anyway, let me get into it. So I'm 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 gonna have to speak about uh Mr. White or yeah, Mr. White, that character. I'm gonna have to speak about him in, in an overall sense. Cause I don't wanna really speak about him in like a progression type of way, like, oh he was like this at the beginning, and then the middle was like that, and then at the end he was like Overall, he's become fully immersed in his work. That's one thing. Another thing, um, I can still see like glimpses of like the way he was initially, like in the first season, like glimpses of this scared and and like like scared and overall just frightened and like timid type of person. Uh, but you can also see he's it seems like with every with every episode he's getting closer and closer to becoming this Heisenberg persona completely. Now, does I necessarily think that's a bad thing? I'm still up in the air about it. Because I like the the three the three hundred and sixty version of, of the of this Mr. White character. But I'm still interested to see how this series is gonna conclude and even not even that, but what what's gonna happen in the next episode? So, yeah, that. Um, now I could talk about what happens in the episode. So he's kind of he's he's taken he's uh put Mr. White or yeah he's put Mr. White in the back seat and Heisenberg is taking control of the wheel at this particular point. Um, he's ordering multiple prison hits at the same time. <sighs> I was surprised, but not so surprised, seeing the success of shows that predate this, that predate uh, Breaking Bad, and their success with the, um, uh, I, I was going to say the wrong word, with their success of highlighting prison life. So, it, I think, I felt like it didn't really have a place, but there was a place for it. And maybe it was just a matter of time before they actually showed some prison scenes inside this uh, uh, series. And these are some pretty gory ones at that. Um, of course, I can't speak on how realistic they are because I've never been incarcerated. Um, but anyway, he, he eliminates everybody that used to work for the old team. Because we know in the last episode, he, in a fit of rage, killed Mike. That was his name, right? I hope I, get his, I hope I didn't get his name wrong. But yeah, the fitter rage, he killed that guy. Boom. He's still working pretty tough with his new partner. And he's raking in all type of money. But in the process of getting the names in order to have them hit in prison, he strikes up a deal with the, the really nervous lady. I, 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 I still don't have her name. He strikes up a deal with her to distribute his product overseas. So now he's getting in buttloads of money. And there's actually a, a scene in this episode where his wife brings him to a storage unit with... It, it looks like, with my untrained eye, it looks like it's probably upwards of $10 million. Of course, I, I don't know. Because they don't give an estimate of it. They, they don't know how much it is. It's just a stack of money. It could be one, could be two million. But they take a, they make a point of saying they don't know because of the, the amount of different denominations like it's 50s and 10s and 20s and 5s and 1s and all of that's in there so you just don't know now where was I going with that I think I got a little hypnotized for that because I feel like that was that's probably every I don't know every person's every person's wet dream probably but you know some people can be happy without without money I don't know I'm getting I'm getting kind of off track here so I'm trying to get back so yeah but but 
at, at the end of the episode, Mr. White actually decides to quit. After he, after he's kind of like, after he's kind of forced to switch positions, like two of his personas, like after the Heisenberg is kind of switched to the back seat and Mr. White's put in the driver's seat again by his wife, kind of like bringing him to reality. Um, he decides to quit. Now, uh, you want to talk about Mrs. White? She, that's pretty much the only part that she plays in this episode. Uh, but, but an important one. Uh, Pinkman makes an appearance in this episode, but very small. And you see, he's still torn. He doesn't know what's happened to Mike. He, the whole situation has gotten kind of crazy. I mean, it feels like both of them were in over their head at, at, at some point you believed both of them in over their head. I think Mr. White's just taken to the leadership role, uh, in, in a better way, I guess, if that makes sense. But uh, the Pinkman character, he's completely gone. And he's, he's gotten his payoff. But I guess that just stirs up all types of emotions. So I'm I'm waiting to see what's going to happen with him in the, in the next few episodes. Uh, now, Mr. White is also being reunited with his family. Which is pretty pretty good, I guess. No, not pretty good. I'm sorry. It's perfect. Why wouldn't it be perfect? Um, see what else happens. Uh, I talked about the prison stuff. Talked about the new source of income. Mrs. White, Mr. White. Talked about Pinkman. Let's talk about the in-laws. This is obviously the most exciting part of this episode. Now, now the, the brother-in-law still has evidence from the... Mr. White's first second assistant, if that makes any sense. The the first replacement for Pinkman. Um, he still has evidence from that murder. And of course, it's a book that's like dedicated to Mr. White. WW. Hank is taking a shit. He's on the toilet out of all places. Some of the if anybody knows if anybody's been a man for any amount of time. You know, you have a, the majority of your best ideas come from when you're taking a dump. Okay? Boom. It hits him. It is Walter. Or it could be Walter. I don't know how he puts puts that all together. But it's... I got overjoyed when I saw that. Literally, I was really overjoyed. I, I, I'm not kidding you. I was overjoyed. I was completely overjoyed when I, when I saw that. Because I'm like, now it's getting good. This is the way to end the series. This is the bang I'm looking for. So, I'm actually going to get to the next episode. 